Hello and welcome to the workout series, Fit For Me. My name is Beverly Chang and I'm here with CBC Life and the CBC Creator Network. Spring has sprung and what better way to celebrate this warmer weather and get ourselves back into movement than with a rejuvenating workout session. Today we're going to be doing lots of stretches, lots of flows, and some low intensity movements. All you need is a long resistance band and we're gonna get right into it and re-energize our bodies. Let's go. So to start, we're going to do some sun salutations. What better way to celebrate spring and the bright days than with standing and reaching your arms to the sky. Good, really reach, especially if you just woke up or it's still early for you, or maybe you're a little sore. The better, the bigger the stretch, the better. Reach up super high. Good, grab those hands at the top and just pull your body up. Good. Nice, from here I want you to Pull those hands back. Feel the stretch in the chest. Good, one more. Up, pull those hands back. Feel the stretch, stretch, stretch. Lovely. Grab that resistance band. We're going to be doing some chest openers. So hands across. And we're gonna come down to our hips. Coming up. And let that chest, or let that back round. So again, Coming up, feeling the stretch in those shoulders. Round it out. Good, keep going. From here, let's get that band up. We're gonna lean to the side. We're going to come down in front. Bring that band up. Good, let's go the other way. Down to the side, coming across nice and slow. Bring that band out to the side and up. Let's go one more time each direction. And. Good. Let's bring that band down. We're gonna to come to our knees. So what we're going to be doing are some chest openers. So we're going to have our hands gently on our thighs. We're gonna take our shoulders, push them back, and we're gonna round our spine. Good. Bring that chest open. This series is all about celebrating, or this little uh, movement series with our chest is all about celebrating the sun, celebrating the warm weather, opening up our bodies. Good, and sitting high on your knees, you're gonna take that left hand, bring that right hand, and lean back. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Opening up to the sky. Feeling the warmth of the sun. Come on, one more time. And you can give a little twist as well. Good. Up and twist. Good, place those hands down. We're gonna come back up to our feet. Something else that we like to see in the spring are trees. We like to see them growing those plants. So we're going to be our own tree right now. We're going to plant our feet into the ground, nice and sturdy and strong. And we're just going to flow. And I know this might feel a little bit weird, but we're just going to open up our bodies, move in whichever direction feels good. Sometimes it's just hanging down, feeling the hamstring stretch. Sometimes it's rolling up, extending that back forward. This is kind of like a little bit of a free flow right now. Good. One of my favorites to do just standing is just to flow to the side and feel the stretch in the lats. You can follow along with me. 
or do your own. Good. Opening up that chest. Lovely. Let's move into a standing pretzel stretch. So we're going to take our right leg. Again, thinking about sturdy, thinking about grounding ourselves. We're going to bring it across our left leg. And of course, if this is too hard, you can't find that balance. Some trees need a little bit of support, so you can use that wall beside you. And we're just going to feel that hip open. Good. We'll come back to that. This time, let's go over to the left side. So again, finding that balance nice and sturdy. Strong like a tree, using all those muscles in that leg to help yourself stabilize. Nice, let's go back to this side. Let's go a little bit deeper into the stretch now if you can. Bring it across. It's okay if your leg is a little wobbly, so is mine. Just find a spot on the floor that you can focus on. Oh, and that feels so good. Nice, switch back. Find that spot, find that balance. Good, releasing. Still working on our stabilizing. I'm just gonna get a quick sip of water. This time we're going to be focusing on our quad and a little bit of hamstring. So again, take that right foot, balancing on this left side. We're gonna hinge forward, nice and controlled. And up, good. Other side. Feeling that nice stretch in the, um, in the quad, but then also feeling that hamstring working as you hinge forward. And of course, if you need that extra support, don't hesitate to hold on to the wall. Good. Hinging. Hips back. up let's do one more on the other side even ourselves out good Ooh, lovely let's come down to the mat so something else we see in spring is the blooming of flowers so I was trying to think, what do we see? What's a stretch or a movement that looks like a bloom? Well, this to me is a lotus. So we're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna bring our knees down. We're gonna drive them down with our elbows, keeping our chest nice and tall. Good. And if you can, you're gonna reach up and reach forward. And opening up to the sky, we're gonna open up like a blooming flower. And again, reach forward. And one more time. Good. Feeling it in that groin. Nice. Now from here, we're almost done with our stretches and then we're going to move into a little bit of movement. So hopefully you've enjoyed this part so far. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna come down to our side. We're gonna bring our right leg over our left and we're going to open up like an opening up flower, like a blooming flower. So again, Hands on top, bring that right hand, open up beside you. Feeling a nice stretch 
in that upper back. Two more times. Last one. Good, and we can sit here for a minute. Feel that twist if you want to take that left hand, bring it down on that right knee and really open up that chest. Feeling a nice rotation in that spine, beautiful. Good, let's work the other side and then let's get ourselves into some lighter movement. So left knee over, opening up. Good. Open up. Flow with that arm. Bring it down. Keeping those hips on top of each other, not letting your whole body open. This is just one petal of the flower. Petal by petal, last one. Good, holding here. Again, you can take that hand, bring it down on that knee. Really feel that rotation. Beautiful. Let's come down to our stomachs. And let's just do a last few cobras. So placing your hands, opening yourself up and down. Drive those toes into the mat. Open up, feel that stretch in that low back. Down. Good, hold it for five, four, big breaths, three, two, and release. Woo! That was a great way to start the session. I hope you also enjoyed that, but you are not done yet. We have some exercises that we are going to get into. Grab some water. All of these movements are going to be light, low impact, um, and we're just gonna work through mostly our lower body, mostly some core, and then you'll be finished and hopefully you'll feel rejuvenated, re-energized, even if you, or if you don't already after that first part, you will after this. So let's get into it. We're gonna be starting with our lower body, working one side at a time. So we're gonna be working our left leg for three exercises in a row. So those exercises are stationary lunges. So staying in the same spot, coming down, coming up, all right, keeping that left foot forward. Then we're going to move into some single leg RDLs, just using body weight. So we're gonna hinge and come up, similar like what we did in that, uh, in that stretch. Using our balance on this one side, but again, if you need support from the wall, you absolutely can. Then the last exercise, still working this, this left leg, is a lateral lunge and up. Sound good? Let's get into it. So we have 40 seconds for each exercise. Start with the lunge. Let's go. So down and up, nice and controlled. Good. Driving through that heel. Working that glute, feeling that glute work as you push up. You should feel that engaged. If you're not, make sure you get that heel down. That front foot should be flat. 10 seconds. Good. Five, three, two, and break. Nice, shake it off. We're going to go into that single leg RDL, working on balance. Let's go in three, two, and go. Still on that left side. Nice. Remember what we did in that stretch. We were finding a spot on the floor that we could focus on. We're pushing our hips back. 
and we're utilizing all those muscles in our leg to help ourselves balance. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, and break, shake it off. Let's go into some lateral lunges, going in five seconds. If that's too hard, I just want you to keep your legs wide and you're just gonna come and stand up. If you want a little bit of a harder exercise, you're gonna push off. 40 seconds. Should really be feeling it in those glutes now. Woo. Great job, proud of you. Pushing those hips back from the side. Push those hips back, weight on the heels. Weight is always on the heel, on that back of your foot. That's how you're gonna get the glutes. Last five, four, three, two, and break. Good, short rest. Then we're gonna go same exercises on the right side. Grab a sip of water if you need. 40 seconds for each movement again. Going in five, three, two, and let's go. Down and up. If you've been taking a break from your training or from your exercises, just too much stuff going on, waiting for the warmer weather, well, this one is gonna get you right back into it. Don't need to go super hard on your first session back. If you haven't done anything in a while, this will definitely get you feeling good. You might feel it a little bit in your legs tomorrow, that's okay, and take a break, good job. Okay, going into those single leg RDLs. Three, two, and go. My right leg is a little bit weaker at this exercise, so I definitely find it a little bit harder to balance. If you're finding the same, don't worry about it. Just keep doing your best. Use the wall for support if you need. Good, 15 seconds left, that's it. Nice. Woo. Five, three, two, let's finish this one. Beautiful job. Lateral lunges, remember you can stay in a wide position or step out. Let's go in three, two, and go. Nice. Drive down, push off. Drive down, push off. Great job. Keep going. 15 seconds left. I'm sweating. Sweating hard. Come on, five, three, two. Give me one more and break. Lovely job. Shake it out. We're gonna do this one more time. We've got two. Feels too good to quit now. All right, get a sip of water if you want. Readjust your mat if it's kind of moved. And we're gonna go in three, two, and go. Good. Down and up. Straight line from your ankle to your knee as best as you can. Good. 10 seconds. Three. Two, and break, 10 second rest. Going into the hinges, or the single leg Roman deadlifts. 
or Romanian deadlifts. <laughs> Let's go. That's why we say RDLs. It's too long of a, uh, of a name. Good, remember, keep that core tight. Find that balance. Feel the hamstring, feel the glute. You're doing awesome. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and break. Nice job, shake it out. Lateral lunges, almost done with the lower body. Three, two, and go. And push off, and push off. Remember, if you don't wanna do that, you're just gonna stay there and push up, back to center. No weights needed for this. If you're doing this correctly, you should feel it in that glute. You're gonna definitely add weight over time, make it more challenging. But right now, this is getting good. Good job. Five seconds. Three, two, and break. Lovely. Let's go back to that right leg. Oh. Starting with the stationary lunges. And then we're gonna finish with some core. Sound good? Oh, five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Drive through that heel. Come on, down and up. Shoulders back. Nice form here. I want all the weight, all the power from this exercise going through this front leg. Back leg, just think of it as support. 10 seconds. Last five, three, two, and break. Good job. Whew. Five seconds into those hinges. Three, two, let's go and up, hinge, and up, good job. Push those hips back. Again, feel it in the glute, but feel the hamstring work to let you come down and to bring yourself back up. 10 seconds, five, knee in line with the toe, three, last one, two, and break, so good. Gonna get some water after this, lots of talking, come on, three, two, and let's go. Lateral lunge, pushing up. So proud of you, come on. Fifteen seconds. You can push down, back to center, but I still want you to get nice and low, despite which one you decide to do. That was a real big push. Come on, three, two, and done. Nice job. Grab some water. We are going to move into our core. Take a little break for yourself. Oh. So, if you have a towel, place it down on your mat. We got some fun exercises coming up right now. So, first one we're going to be doing is a three bicycle movement. So what it looks like is you're going to go one, two, three on that third one. You're going to take that leg that's out, bring it up and down. One, two, three, bring it up 
and down, keeping elbow and knee together the whole time, curving that back so it stays nice and flush with the ground. And then the second exercise you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be up on our shoulders or on our elbows, doing supported leg drops. Okay, point those toes, make this nice, make this fancy. All right, and then the final exercise we're gonna be doing down on the mat, you're gonna be coming, bringing that knee in, tucking it in. Both feet off the ground as you come in, you can have a little rest at the bottom, and then up. You can also keep your neck down on the mat if you find that it starts to get tired. All right, let's get into it. 30 seconds per exercise. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and let's go. So one, two, three, down and up. One, two, three, down and up. It's already hurting my abs down and up. Good. Last five seconds. Good. Nice job. All right, coming up to our elbows, alternating leg drops. Three, two, and go. So dropping down and up. Nice. Good. Point those toes. Bring that leg down. If you have to bend the knee for more of a heel tap, go for that. Five seconds. Two. And break. Nice job. Let's bring ourselves flat. Let's give that neck a little break. And we're going to tuck those knees in in three, two. So extend those legs. Let's go. And down. Both feet up and down. Bring that knee in. Pull. Fire already. Ooh, come on. Keep breathing. Think about lifting that hip up ever so slightly. Three, two, and break. Oh my gosh. Wow, that really woke me up. Or at least it woke up my abs, that's for sure. Oh. Are you ready to go for one more round? Last, se se last circuit in this session. Sometimes my mouth gets so dry and I'm thinking of so many things that I get very tongue tied. But we are almost at the end. We're gonna go in 20 seconds. We're gonna start with those bicycles again. Really reaching, keeping our core as tight as we can working to drop that leg, going in 10. Are you ready? Last one today. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more energized than you were half an hour ago. Let's go. One, two, three, and drop. Good, one, two, three, and drop. Keep that elbow and knee together. One, halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, and break. Great job. Take a second, 10 second break. Coming up to our elbows. Three, two, legs up, let's go. Good. Keep breathing. Ten. Come on. Let that leg drop. Feel that core to bring it back up. Three, two, and break. Nicely done. Flat on our backs. Last movement you have today. Let's give it our all. Let's go in three, two. Legs extended and go. Ooh. Tuck that knee in. 
Oh, 10 down. I am feeling this so much in that lower belly. Good. Last five, three, two, and break. Oh, good work. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, that felt awesome. I hope that you are feeling just as good after that movement session. I hope you're feeling a little bit more rejuvenated, more excited about spring, more excited to get outside, get your body movement moving. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to head to cvc.ca slash life as well as our YouTube channel. More workout videos there, and I'll see you next time.